video, we are going to design this slide one of this PowerPoint presentation. You can see there are four square boxes that are in 3D format with a depth dimension. Also, they are in four different colors. Also, we have got four different icons surrounded by a solid fill colored circle and also a few lines of description for each of them. Before diving into the design and animation of this slide, let's have a mini preview. Okay, we have seen the preview. Now let's jump into the designing process first and then we can move into the animation. After opening a plain PowerPoint presentation, you would have got this empty slide. Select all and press delete. We need a plain PowerPoint presentation with no elements inside. Now go to insert tab, go to shapes and take the plain rectangle. Hold shift key to draw a square. Now go to shape effects, go to 3D rotation and choose off axis one top parallel preset. Now we need to add the dimension called depth. For this, go to format shape. Under shape option, choose effects. Go to 3D format and increase the depth. Thirty two points is enough. Now we need to fine tune this 3D rotation. So let's close the 3D format and open 3D rotation. You just need to play around with these settings and get a final look like this. That's it. We have got the rectangle or the square with the third dimension that is depth. Don't remove the shape outline because if you remove it, then you will get somewhat a lighter shade square box like this. So leave it as it is. I'm pressing Ctrl Z to undo this step. Now we need to add a circle and an icon inside it. So go to insert tab like before, choose a circle. Hold shift key to draw a perfect circle. This time you need to remove the shape outline. Now we need to place an icon inside it. Let me copy the icon from my icon package. Actually I have got a separate file where I have got all these icons. If you want to use my icons, don't worry, I will attach all the icons that I have used in this course in a separate zip file as a resource to this course. Now select both of these, that is the icon on the circle and press Ctrl G to group them together. Now we need to choose this grouped shape and this square. Go to arrange, align and then align center so that both of these shapes will be aligned to a common center line. Now I need to draw a dotted line from this circle to the square box. So go to insert, go to shapes and choose double headed arrow or a line arrow with double arrow heads. Now when you just mouse over the circle you can see several dots appearing around the circle, right? These denotes the joints with which you can just fix this double headed arrow so that even if you move the shape, the arrow will be still fixed. Let me show you how this can be done. Now when I come here, I get three more dots in this shape. Let's assume that I fix it here. Now even if I move this circle, the arrow will follow wherever it goes. That's the actual purpose of aligning this arrow to these dots. If I want a straight arrow, not an arrow in some angles. So I'm going to draw the arrow holding shift key. Unlike I joined this arrow to one of the dot previously, I'm going to place this arrow to the center of the square. It will create an illusion like this arrow is protruding from the center of the square to this icon circle. Now I wish to customize the look of this arrow to a dotted line with dots at the end instead of arrow. So for that, 
first I need to increase the width. Let me zoom in so that you can see clearly and choose the dash type to round dot. Still, you can see the dots are in square shape, right? I need round dots. So I'm going to choose the cap type to round and join type to round. Also the begin arrow type to oval arrow. Similarly, an arrow type to oval arrow too. But you can see that the end and the beginning are not clearly visible. That's why I'm going to change the color to gray. Now I wish to add a few lines of text. So go to insert and text box. Let me type some dummy text which you can fill as per your preferences. After typing the text, resize it to accommodate the width as per your requirement or preference. Now I'm going to choose the text to lato and align the text to center and reduce the font size a bit, maybe 10 and let me reduce the width further. That's it. Now I wish to change the color of the text to somewhat in the gray shade because pure black will be something old fashioned and a shade of gray is what everybody is using in the latest trend. So let me blend with the trend. So I wish to select some of these gray shades. Let me choose this third one. Now I wish to align it along the center. Okay, now let me bring down this arrow to this dot. So let me reduce the width to two points. That's it. Slightly up. Now select this one, the text and the arrow and press Ctrl G to group them together. So all these four objects are grouped together. And this square box is a separate shape. Why I am grouping all these four, you will understand while I do the animation. So now let me zoom out. Select Ctrl C and then Ctrl V thrice. Now let me align them in a different manner rather than in a straight horizontal way. Just make sure that the top diagonal point of this square and the bottom left diagonal point of this square meets together. If you can't adjust exactly with the mouse, then you may use the keyboard arrows. While selecting, select both of them and then drag it, else the shapes may get disaligned. Now I am going to press the arrow keys to make them perfectly aligned. Now select these two and align them exactly. Okay, now I am going to select this one and change the shape fill to orange. And this third square to gray and the fourth one to green. Similarly, I'm going to change the shape outline to a darker orange, which you can choose or see here, that is accent 2. Similarly, dark gray for the outline here and dark green for the outline of the fourth square. Now let's change the color of this circle. For this, when you select first, the group will get selected. Now click again on the circle to select it and change the shape fill to orange. Repeat the same and change the color to gray for the third one and green for the fourth one. Now we need to change the icons, right? So select it and delete. As usual, you need to click first and then second. When you click the second time, the icon will get selected. Make sure you point right at the icon, not at the circle. Now I'm going to copy all the icons from another PowerPoint file. 
see all these icons are right here now let me bring it down here you can manually center them by using these guides that is these red dotted lines but after we have added these icons the grouping should have got disturbed so select both these holding control key and group them again that's it we have completed designing this body part of this slide now select all and move them in a comfortable position for you to follow the lower third or one third principle don't place them at the center try to place them at one third of all the sides this is called rule of thirds which you could have heard in photography now let's add the title subtitle and a line in between them before that let's format the background of this slide for that you can go to design and select format background here choose gradient fill and choose the second gray preset it's called top spotlight accent 3 preset that's it we have got a nice premium touch to this slide now let's add the heading go to insert and choose text box let me switch on caps lock okay, here is my awesome heading selecting it i'm holding control key and taking another copy and i'm going to write as here goes your subtitle or one liner or tagline or whatever you wish now let me select both of them and choose the font called monstrat it's my favorite font also let me select the subtitle and color it to somewhat lighter gray like this and select the color of for the heading to this blue gray also add a loosening between the heading characters which will give a nice touch now let's increase the font size to 48 that's it we have got an awesome heading and a good subtitle now insert a rectangle or square holding shift key remove the shape outline and choose the shape fill to white now take four more copies you don't need to align it because we can do it right away using the align button go to align and then align middle also go to align again and choose distribute horizontally to make them evenly placed let's bring them here and take one copy of this square okay now we have placed it with even distance between them and just increase the length now select all press ctrl g we have got it grouped together hold shift key and reduce the size let's reduce a bit further i think this would suffice and let's resize this one let me zoom out so we have completed designing the first slide let me show you how you can do the animation in the next lecture in this video you are going to learn how to do a stunning animation with this slide design we have created in the previous lecture generally i don't go for some exciting effects in powerpoint i just use the basic effects but in a slightly different manner to create a stunning effect that's what i do often so let me jump into the animations tab and let's do the animation for the heading the subtitle first select the heading go to add animation button and let's go to more entrance effects here let me choose the compress effect oh where is it it's in moderate here goes select ok and let me open the animation pane to manage them easier after compressing the main title let me add a simple fly-in entrance effect for the subtitle but i'm going to customize it first let me change the direction to from left 
and then go to effect options and make it completely smooth just increase the smooth end that's enough because no one is going to see how it's going to start because it's outside of the slide or outside of the presentation view so you just need to adjust the smooth end it's going to come smoothly and end smoothly let me change the trigger option to start with previous but let me add a delay of 0.5 seconds or 0.4 seconds that's enough similarly let me add compress effect it seems better okay similarly let's change start with previous and a slight delay compared to the subtitle now let's see the preview okay that seems fine isn't it now let's start animating this content here not only i'm going to show you how to animate them i will also show you how i do it fastly that is i'm going to do the animation for just the first square box and the icon group and then i'm going to copy them using animation painter so that it will be a faster animation process as said before i'm going to add just the flying entrance effect but i'm going to fine tune it with smooth end okay that's enough now select it double click the animation painter only then you can copy it to multiple objects so after double clicking i'm going to click on this orange square and then gray square finally this green square so we have added the animation to all these square boxes but still you can see my cursor as animation painter icon so i need to press escape to cancel this now it has gone now select this group and add wipe animation this is why i group them together i want all these four objects that is a circle shape the icon the text and this dotted line to wipe in an ordered fashion that is the dotted line should start wiping and it should end with a circle that's why we grouped all these four shapes together and then we are using the wipe animation effect on the entire group let me change the trigger option to start after previous and move this effect right after rectangle 3 rectangle 3 is nothing but this square you can see when i select this rectangle rectangle 3 animation effect gets selected which means rectangle 3 is nothing but this blue square if you want to rename it so that you can identify better or identify easily then i have got a shortcut for you go to home and then open select and click selection pane here you can see all the components that we have got in this slide while looking at this you won't believe that this slide has got this much components isn't it because we have grouped multiple objects together that's why we see less number of objects than it's actually present to rename this rectangle tree just select it once more and you can type any name you want let me rename it to blue square that's it just select it make a click and start typing once you have completed typing the name press enter to finish renaming similarly you can rename the group or a shape or anything you use you can also see that the rectangle 3 in the animation pane has got renamed to blue square so it applies universally now let me close the selection pane and just use animation pane for now now i'm going to select this group go to animations and double click animation painter and i'm going to apply the same wipe animation effect to all the three or the rest of the group okay now i just need to reorder the animation effects that's it now let's play all the animations in the slide that's it we have completed animating the slide one
In the next lecture, let's start designing the slide 2. In this lecture, we are going to design the next slide or slide 2. For that, first right click on this left side panel and click new slide. As usual, select all and press delete key to delete all the components inside. And let me close this animation pane to get a clear view. Before starting the design process, let's have a mini preview. To make this process faster, let me straight away format the background and apply the gradient fill. Since we have applied this same preset earlier, it gets pre-selected. So we don't need to customize or do any playing around further. We just need to close it. Now let's copy the heading, the animated line and the subtitle along with their animation to this slide. If you want to double check whether they have got copied along with the animation, go to animations tab and select preview. That's it. We have completed designing the title subtitle part. We just need to design the content part. Okay, let's start with designing a cloud shape which is going to form the top of the tree. So let's take a circle and holding shift key draw a perfect circle. Now go to shape outline and choose no outline. Let me place it here. Hold control key and take two more copies. Let me place one here and another one in this region. Now I need to take one more copy and resize it holding shift key. You may not understand what I am doing at this stage, but once I complete this, you will get the final picture. Okay, let me take one more copy and resize it further like this. And let's resize it some more. Now holding control key, let me take a copy here and one more here. I think that's enough. Now let's take one more copy and expand it or maximize it as much as we can afford. That's it. Okay, let me expand it a bit to cover this blind spot. Okay, we have completed the top region of the tree. Now select all of them. Make sure that the rectangle you draw covers all these shapes. Okay, now we have got everything selected. Go to Drawing Tools Format tab, Merge Shapes and select Union to make this all circles combined together to a new complete shape. See, there is no single shape here. It's a complete one like grouping. This is going to merge all the shapes. Now let me resize it holding Shift key because I want the proportions to be preserved. Let me place it here and take one more copy and one more here. Let me reduce the size. Keep it here. Reduce the size. Keep it here. Now I'm going to take a copy of this one to here and reduce the size a bit. One more copy. Reduce the size a bit. Repeat the same step again. So it seems like there are six clouds flying around, right? But once I have completed drawing the stem part, you will see a tree here. Trust me. Now to draw the stem, we need to take another shape. Go to insert, shapes and then choose curve. Don't choose this arc because arc is not suitable for this drawing. Curve has got a unique feature which I am going to explain you now. Because you can draw customized curves using this curve shape. Ok, let's start but before that let me zoom in so that you can see clearly. Start here, make a click and one more click in this region. Once I make the second click, you can see it forms a curve. See? You just need to make a click accordingly. Once you practice this, you will get where to click. Now I am going to make a click in this region. And I am going to click one more here. That's it. I have got a smooth curve here. 
if I go back to the starting point, it will finish this shape like this, which I don't want. I want this point, the recent dot where I click to be swapped. So I will make another click here, one more here. If I just bring back the curve, it will form a curve region here, which I don't want. Similar to this dot, I want a sorp point here too. So I'm going to make another click. Make another click here and then bring back the curve to this region. A click. And that's it. Now let me make a click once here, one more here. Click. 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 Another click here. That's it. Now I can join this. We have got the stem, but it doesn't look like that, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry. Just remove the shape outline and take a copy of it. Resize it and rotate it. that's it we have got the tree trust me it's a tree <laughs> okay now select all these and press ctrl g or you can just go to drawing tools format tab and select union no problem select union we have got a complete tree now you can even delete these clouds and take a complete tree or you can just select the stem and make a copy both will do fine. Hold shift key and resize it. Now we are going to fill this three trees with a background image. For this, select the tree, go to Drawing Tools Format tab. If you are already in the tab, then no problem. Just click this expand arrow under the shape styles. It will open this format shape window. Or alternatively, you can right click and choose format shape. Now, instead of the solid fill, select picture or texture fill and choose online. If you have got any pictures that is already in your computer, then you can choose file that is insert picture from file and choose any picture you want. But normally I don't use pictures in my PC. I just search on the Bing and I get any picture I want. Whenever you are using any project like this or any PowerPoint presentation that you are selling to your client, make sure you choose Creative Commons only. In this manner, you will get escape from any future copyright claims which may require you to pay hundreds or thousands of dollars. So make sure that you select Creative Commons only. Now let me choose this picture and click Insert. It's way above 4K resolution. It's almost 8K, so it will take some time. Okay, now let me choose another picture for this tree. By default, the previous picture gets applied automatically. But still, if you want to change the picture, you can do. Let me choose this nature. And for the third tree, let's repeat the process. Let me choose this one. That's it. Now let me rearrange or realign these trees to accommodate further elements that I'm going to add. Okay, let me reduce the size so you can see everything clearly. Now we are going to add a few lines of text, a sample heading and two lines of subtitle or sub sample heading you can call it. For that, as usual, go to insert on text box. You can type anywhere. We can place it or arrange it later. Okay, here sample heading one. As usual, I'm going to choose the Monstrat font and increase the spacing to loose. Increase the size to 20 and change the color to green. Let me place it here. Now let's add a few lines of text here. As usual after typing, just 
reduce the width okay that's fine now let's place it here and change the color to some shades of gray and i'm going to use lato font for these sub sample headings and that's fine or can we increase the width no this is fine now i'm going to add a dotted line like we did for this slide one for this go to insert shapes and choose double headed arrow but this time we are going to use elbow double arrow let me zoom in make a click in this gray dot and let's place it to here okay the yellow dots have gone so far i think this is fine but we need to format the shape I don't like blind lines because while animating, if they are dotted, they look much nicer compared to the blind lines. So choose the dash type to round dot and cap type to round. And as usual, choose the begin arrow to oval and the same for end two. Change the color to green. Make sure you choose the same color as what you have assigned for the sample heading so that it follow some design principles that's it now select the heading the subheading and the arrow press ctrl g to group them together as usual this is just for the animation purpose hold the ctrl key and take a copy place it here change the heading number to 2 and then realign the dot to one of these one so make sure you have corrected the line using these yellow dots now we just need to change the color of the dotted line to orange the same goes for the heading 2 go to home and choose orange that's it now repeat the process for sample heading 3 let's color it to blue similarly change the color of the dotted line to blue too let's attach it here and bring these hello dots here that's it we have completed drawing or designing this slide too if you want to add a final touch then i can suggest one more thing apart from what you have seen in the preview go to insert shapes and choose this square or a frame it's called a frame draw to the entire slide and adjust this yellow dot so as it doesn't disturb this sample heading now remove the shape outline and change the fill color to slide background fill it will make a nice effect you can see here it cuts down the trees you might be seeing the bottom part of these three trees here but see when you go to this slide preview the bottom part gets cut down and the frame perfectly blends with the background so it seems like the tree doesn't grow all the way from the bottom but it starts within the slide and it ends within the slide somewhat nice in the next lecture let's do the animation part of this slide too in this lecture we are going to design the next slide or slide 2 for that first right click on this left side panel and click new slide as usual select all and press delete key to delete all the components inside and let me close this animation pane to get a clear view before starting the design process let's have a mini preview to make this process faster let me straight away format the background 
and apply the gradient fill. Since we have applied this same preset earlier, it gets pre-selected. So we don't need to customize or do any playing around further. We just need to close it. Now let's copy the heading, the animated line and the subtitle along with their animation to this slide. If you want to double check whether they have got copied along with the animation, go to animations tab and select preview. That's it. We have completed designing the title subtitle part. We just need to design the content part. Okay, let's start with designing a cloud shape which is going to form the top of the tree. So let's take a circle and holding shift key draw a perfect circle. Now go to shape outline and choose no outline. Let me place it here. Hold control key and take two more copies. Let me place one here and another one in this region. Now I need to take one more copy and resize it holding shift key. You may not understand what I am doing at this stage, but once I complete this, you will get the final picture. Okay, let me take one more copy and resize it further like this. And let's resize it some more. Now holding control key, let me take a copy here and one more here. I think that's enough. Now let's take one more copy and expand it or maximize it as much as we can afford. That's it. Okay, let me expand it a bit to cover this blind spot. Okay, we have completed the top region of the tree. Now select all of them. Make sure that the rectangle you draw covers all these shapes. Okay, now we have got everything selected. Go to Drawing Tools Format tab, Merge Shapes and select Union to make this all circles combined together to a new complete shape. See, there is no single shape here. It's a complete one like grouping. This is going to merge all the shapes. Now let me resize it holding Shift key because I want the proportions to be preserved. Let me place it here and take one more copy and one more here. Let me reduce the size. Keep it here. Reduce the size. Keep it here. Now I'm going to take a copy of this one to here and reduce the size a bit. One more copy. Reduce the size a bit. Repeat the same step again. So it seems like there are six clouds flying around, right? But once I have completed drawing the stem part, you will see a tree here. Trust me. Now to draw the stem, we need to take another shape. Go to insert shapes and then choose curve. Don't choose this arc because arc is not suitable for this drawing. Curve has got a unique feature which I'm going to explain you now because you can draw customized curves using this curve shape. Okay, let's start, but before that, let me zoom in so that you can see clearly. Start here, make a click, and one more click in this region. Once I make the second click, you can see it forms a curve. See? You just need to make a click accordingly. Once you practice this, you will get where to click. Now I am going to make a click in this region. And I am going to click one more here. That's it. I have got a smooth curve here. If I go back to the starting point, it will finish this shape like this, which I don't want. I want this point, the recent dot where I click to be sharp. So I will make another click here, one more here. If I just bring back the curve, it will form a curve region here, which I don't want. Similar to this dot, I want a sharp point here too. So I'm going to make another click make another click here and then bring back the curve to this region a click and that's it 
now let me make a click once here one more here click 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 another click here that's it now i can join this we have got the stem but it doesn't look like that isn't it <laughs> don't worry just remove the shape outline and take a copy of it resize it and rotate it that's it we have got the tree trust me it's a tree <laughs> okay now select all these and press ctrl g or you can just go to drawing tools format tab and select union no problem select union we have got a complete tree now you can even delete these clouds and take a complete tree or you can just select the stem and make a copy both will do fine hold shift key and resize it now we are going to fill this three trees with a background image for this select the tree go to drawing tools format tab if you are already in the tab then no problem just click this expand arrow under the shape styles it will open this format shape window or alternatively you can right click and choose format shape now instead of the solid fill select picture or texture fill and choose online if you have got any pictures that is already in your computer then you can choose file that is insert picture from file and choose any picture you want but normally i don't use pictures in my pc i just search on the bing and i get any picture i want whenever you are using any project like this or any powerpoint presentation that you are selling to your client make sure you choose creative commons only in this manner you will get escape from any future copyright claims which may require you to pay hundreds or thousands of dollars so make sure that you select creative commons only now let me choose this picture and click insert it's way above 4k resolution it's almost 8k so it will take some time okay now let me choose another picture for this tree by default the previous picture gets applied automatically but still if you want to change the picture you can do let me choose this nature and for the third tree let's repeat the process let me choose this one that's it now let me rearrange or realign these trees to accommodate further elements that i am going to add okay let me reduce the size so you can see everything clearly now we are going to add a few lines of text a sample heading and two lines of subtitle or sub sample heading you can call it for that as usual go to insert on text box you can type anywhere we can place it or arrange it later okay here sample heading one as usual i'm going to choose the monstrat font and increase the spacing to loose increase the size to 20 and change the color to green let me place it here now let's add a few lines of text here as usual after typing just reduce the width okay that's fine now let's place it here and change the color to some shades of gray and i'm going to use lato font for these sub sample headings that's fine or can we increase the width no this is fine now i'm going to add a dotted line like we did for this 
slide one for this go to insert shapes and choose double headed arrow but this time we are going to use elbow double arrow let me zoom in make a click in this gray dot and let's place it to here okay the yellow dots have gone so far i think this is fine but we need to format the shape I don't like blind lines because while animating if they are dotted they look much nicer compared to the blind lines. So choose the dash type to round dot and cap type to round and as usual choose the begin arrow to oval and the same for end two. Change the color to green. Make sure you choose the same color as what you have assigned for the sample heading so that it follow some design principles that's it now select the heading the subheading and the arrow press ctrl g to group them together as usual this is just for the animation purpose hold the ctrl key and take a copy place it here change the heading number to 2 and then realign the dot to one of these ones so make sure you have corrected the line using these yellow dots now we just need to change the color of the dotted line to orange the same goes for the heading 2 go to home and choose orange that's it now repeat the process for sample heading 3 let's color it to blue similarly change the color of the dotted line to blue too let's attach it here and bring these hello dots here that's it we have completed drawing or designing this slide too if you want to add a final touch then i can suggest one more thing apart from what you have seen in the preview go to insert shapes and choose this square or a frame it's called a frame draw to the entire slide and adjust this yellow dot so as it doesn't disturb this sample heading now remove the shape outline and change the fill color to slide background fill it will make a nice effect you can see here it cuts down the trees you might be seeing the bottom part of these three trees here but see when you go to this slide preview the bottom part gets cut down and the frame perfectly blends with the background so it seems like the tree doesn't grow all the way from the bottom but it starts within the slide and it ends within the slide somewhat nice in the next lecture let's do the animation part of this slide 2 in this lecture we are going to design this slide 3 but before that let's have a mini preview like we did for both the previous slides From the preview, you could have seen or noticed that there is a slight modification in the heading port and this line. So let's go ahead and start the design process. Select all and delete them. Go to design, format background, and choose gradient fill and close it. Go to insert, shapes, select round or oval, holding shift key draw a circle remove the shape outline and choose the shape fill to the accent one blue color now take a copy of this circle resize it a bit and change the shape fill to the blue now place it at the center select both of them press ctrl c and press ctrl v four times 
we need four more copies now place it here select the dark circle and the light circle and place it sideways you don't need to arrange them in a particular fashion because we can do it later that's it we just need to paste or insert a few icons inside these circles for that i'm going to copy the icons from another powerpoint file which i will share as a lost lecture in this course okay we have got the icons now select three of them that is the icon the dark circle and the light circle go to arrange align and select align center and go again and select align middle you need to repeat this step for all these four for that you may need to expand arrange and align multiple times so there is a quick shortcut for that select more commands under customize quick access toolbar scroll down and choose drawing tools for me tab now select align object center and click add similarly align objects middle and click add also add these two items align selected objects align to slide now select ok before that if you want you can select so quick access toolbar below the ribbon it's much easier to access than at the top select ok we have got everything ready now select all the three and both of them that's it it's much easier right this is how you can speed up your editing process now we need to select these three select ctrl g or press ctrl g on keyboard to group them together if you are on mac you need to press command g grouping will make all these three objects as one single object which will be easier for us to animate and to do the process which i am going to do now go to arrange and go to align distribute horizontally now select align to slide and then middle now we need to change the color of all these circles first select the inner circle go to drawing tools format tab and choose this preset colored fill or you can go to shape fill and change the color both or same you can do whatever you want similarly select this apple and choose gray android blue and windows to green now we need to change the color of the outer circles but i prefer yellow instead of this blue which looks much better now let's straight away jump into the changing color of outer circle go to shape fill and choose the light orange or accent 2 change to accent to gray and the fourth circle to accent to yellow similarly for this one accent to green now we are going to draw a connector between these circles and it's a bit trickier part i will show you why go to insert shapes and select a circle holding shift key draw a circle and remove the fill to no fill now place it exactly like this it should form the outline of the lighter circle you should resize it accordingly and then let's go to format shape and increase the width to 3.5 and choose blue color or as usual we can choose the dark blue both are fine it's your preference right here comes the much trickier part go to insert and choose a rectangle or you can pick the rectangle here under drawing tools for me tab and draw till the center or the central diameter now change the fill transparency to around something because you need to see what's the back what's behind it choose the outline to no line take a copy of this rectangle and place it exactly to touch each other 
see they should touch each other now let's rotate it holding shift key to around 45 degrees similarly rotate this one to 45 degrees now select the circle first that is a circle which has got only the outline and then both these squares then go to drawing tools format tab go to merge shapes and choose fragment now you should have got multiple fragments you need to delete the ones which you don't want we delete this one delete this delete this 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 everything except this one now select this one and press right arrow to just push it outwards of this light circle now go to arrange and then send to back see you have got a smooth outline right this is what we want and for this we have done so much of steps okay now go to insert shapes and a single headed arrow from the center touch this dot increase the width to 3.5 or 3 is enough now change the end arrow type to dot and also send it to back that's it now select this arc and the arrow press ctrl c and paste once more press ctrl v once more and place it next to the gray circle once press ctrl v once more and place it next to the yellow circle you can use these red dotted lines which comes when you drag these shapes you can use these for reference and you can align them manually or as usual you can select all of them go to arrange align and you can use align center or align middle to align them select all these arrange send to back similarly select these arrows too and send them to back now let's change the color of these arrows dark orange for this one and for the next it's dark gray or it's action 3 darker 25 and action 4 yellow okay now we just need to group them together for animation purpose select this or the line and the next group group them again similarly you just need to repeat the process make sure you are not selecting this one or the group earlier you group together don't worry if it comes out we can send them back later now select this group and send to back i am just sending all these back again to save time i am just fast forwarding the process that's it we have got the central content or the graphical part ready we just need to add some text boxes go to insert and text box when you add these kind of circles connected by lines it usually represents a kind of timeline or a process flow that's why i would like to type 2015 as the year i would like to change it to monstrat and as usual loose gap between them increase the font size a bit change the color to blue take a copy of it using control key and dragging it select all change the color to gray reduce the font size to 14 or 12 change the font to lato and type some content here select the text box change the spacing to normal and reduce the width to exactly this 2015 also change the alignment to center now you can go to drawing tools format tab and choose this preset 
it's called a semi transparent preset and you can choose according to a particular color now go to edit shape and click change shape then choose this rounded rectangle see it enhances the look a bit isn't it if you wish you can even expand or increase the width to give it a nice look and feel now select both of them and select center oh we have already chosen align to slide so change align selected objects now place them here press ctrl g take a copy and place it above this orange one take a copy and place it beneath the gray above the yellow and beneath the green let's change it to gray this one to orange this one to yellow the last one to green so let's change the color of the text since i'm using the theme colors for all of these text or graphics whenever you change the theme all of these colors will change instantaneously let me show you a preview here let's assume that you are going to design and you are going to use this theme see the entire color changes isn't it that's the beauty of using theme colors whenever you change to a different theme entirely it changes all the colors so always try to use the theme colors which will be easier for you to customize later so now i wish to resize all of these so that i can accommodate the headings but where is a space here so i just need to resize but there is a trouble here too when i select all of them and resize there is some misalignment isn't it that's why grouping comes into action press control g we have got everything grouped together now you can reduce or resize or do whatever you wish place them wherever you want and press shift control g or ungroup now they go to the previous grouping positions previous groupings are preserved so you don't need to worry now we have got the space for the title so this is another secret tip don't forget let me copy the heading and the subtitle and paste it here go to home and change the alignment to center click align to slide and select center let's place a bit higher now align to center we need to draw a line go to insert shapes and plane line hold shift key to draw a perfect horizontal line I think this length is enough let's change the color to this blue and increase the width a bit to 4 also change the cap type to round i will show you where it affects okay now you can see there is a flat end right this doesn't appear or this doesn't look good when you animate that's why i would like to use rounded edge see now let's change the positions of these line and subtitle let's space it out better okay now select all of these and center it if you want to change or move it up or down without disaligning from center you can use the arrow keys instead of using your mouse at last i just forgot to make a small change it's just to change the ears accordingly it's not a major one but let's do everything perfect okay as of now i have completed designing this slide three and you too should have completed if you have been following along with me so in the next lecture let's animate the slide three design in this lecture we are going to design this slide three 
But before that, let's have a mini preview like we did for both the previous slides. From the preview, you could have seen or noticed that there is a slight modification in the heading port and this line. So let's go ahead and start the design process. Select all and delete them. Go to design, format background and choose gradient fill and close it. Go to insert, shapes, select round or oval. Holding shift key, draw a circle. Remove the shape outline and choose the shape fill to the accent one blue color. Now take a copy of this circle, resize it a bit and change the shape fill to the blue. Now place it at the center. Select both of them, press Ctrl C and press Ctrl V four times. We need four more copies. Now place it here, select the dark circle and the light circle and place it sideways. You don't need to arrange them in a particular fashion because we can do it later. That's it. We just need to paste or insert a few icons inside these circles. For that I am going to copy the icons from another PowerPoint file which I will share as a lost lecture in this course. Okay, we have got the icons. Now select three of them. That is the icon, the dark circle and the light circle. Go to arrange, align and select, align center and go again and select align middle. You need to repeat this step for all these four. For that you may need to expand, arrange and align multiple times. So there is a quick shortcut for that. Select more commands under customize quick access toolbar. Scroll down and choose drawing tools for me tab. Now select align object center and click add. Similarly align objects middle and click add. Also add these two items. Align selected objects, align to slide. Now select OK. Before that if you want, you can select so quick access toolbar below the ribbon. It's much easier to access than at the top. Select OK. We have got everything ready. Now select all the three and both of them. That's it. It's much easier, right? This is how you can speed up your editing process. Now we need to select these three. Select Ctrl G or press Ctrl G on keyboard to group them together. If you are on Mac, you need to press Command G. Grouping will make all these three objects as one single object, which will be easier for us to animate and to do the process which I am going to do now. Go to Arrange and go to Align, Distribute Horizontally. Now select Align to Slide and then Middle. Now we need to change the color of all these circles. First select the inner circle, go to drawing tools format tab and choose this preset colored fill or you can go to shape fill and change the color. Both are same. You can do whatever you want. Similarly select this apple and choose gray, android, blue and windows to green. Now we need to change the color of the outer circles but I prefer yellow instead of this blue which looks much better. Now let's straight away jump into the changing color of outer circle. Go to shape fill and choose the light orange or accent 2. Change to accent to gray and the fourth circle to accent to yellow. Similarly for this one accent to green. Now we are going to draw a connector between these circles and it's a bit trickier part. I will show you why. Go to insert shapes 
and select a circle holding shift key draw a circle and remove the fill to no fill now place it exactly like this it should form the outline of the lighter circle you should resize it accordingly and then let's go to format shape and increase the width to 3.5 and choose blue color or as usual we can choose the dark blue both are fine it's your preference right here comes the much trickier part go to insert and choose a rectangle or you can pick the rectangle here under drawing tools for me tab and draw till the center or the central diameter now change the fill transparency to around something because you need to see what's at the back what's behind it choose the outline to no line take a copy of this rectangle and place it exactly to touch each other see they should touch each other now let's rotate it holding shift key to around 45 degrees similarly rotate this one to 45 degrees now select the circle first that is a circle which has got only the outline and then both these squares then go to drawing tools format tab go to merge shapes and choose fragment now you should have got multiple fragments you need to delete the ones which you don't want let me delete this one delete this delete this 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 everything except this one now select this one and press right arrow to just push it outwards of this light circle now go to arrange and then send to back see you have got a smooth outline right this is what we want and for this we have done so much of steps okay now go to insert shapes and a single headed arrow from the center touch this dot increase the width to 3.5 or 3 is enough now change the end arrow type to dot and also send it to back that's it now select this arc and the arrow press ctrl c and paste once more press ctrl v once more and place it next to the gray circle once press ctrl v once more and place it next to the yellow circle you can use these red dotted lines which comes when you drag these shapes you can use these for reference and you can align them manually or as usual you can select all of them go to arrange align and you can use align center or align middle to align them select all these arrange send to back similarly select these arrows too and send them to back now let's change the color of these arrows dark orange for this one and for the next it's dark gray or it's action 3 darker 25 and action 4 yellow okay now we just need to group them together for animation purpose select this or the line and the next group group them again similarly you just need to repeat the process make sure you are not selecting this one or the group earlier you group together don't worry if it comes out we can send them back later now select this group and send to back i am just sending all these back again to save time i am just fast forwarding the process that's it we have got the central content or the graphical part ready we just need to add some text boxes 
go to insert and text box when you add these kind of circles connected by lines it usually represents a kind of timeline or a process flow that's why i would like to type 2015 as the year i would like to change it to monstrat and as usual a loose gap between them increase the font size a bit change the color to blue take a copy of it using control key and dragging it select all change the color to gray reduce the font size to 14 or 12 change the font to lato and type some content here select the text box change the spacing to normal and reduce the width to exactly this 2015 also change the alignment to center now you can go to drawing tools format tab and choose this preset it's called a semi transparent preset and you can choose according to a particular color now go to edit shape and click change shape then choose this rounded rectangle see it enhances the look a bit isn't it if you wish you can even expand or increase the width to give it a nice look and feel now select both of them and select center oh we have already chosen align to slide so change align selected objects now place them here press control g take a copy and place it above this orange one take a copy and place it beneath the gray above the yellow and beneath the green let's change it to gray this one to orange this one to yellow the last one to green so let's change the color of the text since i'm using the theme colors for all of these text or graphics whenever you change the theme all of these colors will change instantaneously let me show you a preview here let's assume that you are going to design and you are going to use this theme see the entire color changes isn't it that's the beauty of using theme colors whenever you change to a different theme entirely it changes all the colors so always try to use the theme colors which will be easier for you to customize later so now i wish to resize all of these so that i can accommodate the headings but where is a space here so i just need to resize but there is a trouble here too when i select all of them and resize there is some misalignment isn't it that's why grouping comes into action press control g we have got everything grouped together now you can reduce or resize or do whatever you wish place them wherever you want and press shift control g or ungroup now they go to the previous grouping positions previous groupings are preserved so you don't need to worry now we have got the space for the title so this is another secret tip don't forget let me copy the heading and the subtitle and paste it here go to home and change the alignment to center click align to slide and select center let's place a bit higher now align to center we need to draw a line go to insert shapes and plane line hold shift key to draw a perfect horizontal line I think this length is enough let's change the color to this blue and increase the width a bit to 4 also change the cap type to round i will show you where it affects okay now you can see there is a flat end 
right? This doesn't appear or this doesn't look good when you animate. That's why I would like to use rounded edge. See? Now let's change the positions of these line and subtitle. Let's space it out better. Okay, now select all of these and center it. If you want to change or move it up or down without disaligning from center, you can use the arrow keys instead of using your mouse. At last, I just forgot to make a small change. It's just to change the ears accordingly. It's not a major one, but let's do everything perfect. Okay, as of now, I have completed designing this slide three and you too should have completed if you have been following along with me. So in the next lecture, let's animate the slide three design. In this lecture, we are going to design the fourth slide in this PowerPoint presentation. Well, before diving into the design process, just have a mini preview. Okay, let's see how we can design this as fast as possible. Now the first step is to format the background. So go to design and choose format background. Now choose gradient fill. I'm going to copy the same heading, subheading and this line style to this new slide. Absolutely, it has got copied along with the animations. You can see it here. Let's start designing the contents. Go to insert tab and shapes and then choose arrow pentagon block arrow. After drawing this shape, hold shift key to rotate it 90 degree. You can adjust this acute angle using this yellow dot. Now keep it here and remove the outline. Now go to insert shapes and take semi rounded rectangle with just the top corners rounded. You can see it here. Take it and draw it like this. Let me zoom in and remove the outline. Change the shape fill to accent one. That's it. You have completed drawing this first shape. Now select both these and press Ctrl G to group them together. Now take five more copies. Five and then the sixth one. Select all and press Ctrl Shift G to ungroup them. I grouped it just to make the process easier or faster. Now I need to change the colors. Let me change the shape fill to the dark orange and here to just orange. Similarly, gray shades here and then comes the yellow. It's dark blue for this one. And finally comes the dark green and the green. Now we just need to copy the icons from the other PowerPoint presentation file. Well, for the last four slides, I haven't shown you from where I copied the icons. That's why I just decided to show you this PowerPoint presentation where I have got the collection of icons. So just select them. Press Ctrl C and move this one aside and press Ctrl V. You have got it. Now place these icons at the center of these shapes. You can manually do like this as I did or you can use this align center or align middle buttons on this quick bar. But if you want to use that, then you need to group these shapes together and then select the icon, then press align center or align middle. Before that, you also need to 
uncheck align to slide and select align selected objects to get this align selected objects enabled you need to select at least two objects to get this checkbox enabled okay now i'm going to align all these six shapes in ascending order that is from bottom to top so now let me group these shapes together select all press ctrl g and repeat the process for all these shapes make sure that the rectangle you draw to select all these shapes covers all the shapes that you wish to group now select all of these again leave align to slide now go to arrange align and distribute horizontally that's it now hold shift key and move them up or down as you wish alternatively you can also use distribute vertically option under the align option now we are going to create six text boxes go to insert and click text box then click on the slide to create one now i have enabled caps lock and typing the text let me select it choose monstrat font also the loose spacing and increase the text size a bit now let me take five more copies and rename them now select all these six texts select align selected objects then go to arrange align and align left again go to arrange align and distribute vertically that's it let's change the format under drawing tools format tab to the semi transparent gray okay now our job has got completed almost the last design work is to connect these shapes to these text boxes go to insert shapes and take elbow double arrow and start connecting the shapes to the text also change or rearrange this line using the yellow dots now take another one and connect the next similarly do the rest now select all these arrows and then expand shape styles to display the format shape panel and increase the width 2.5 points is enough change the dash type to dots and cap type to round and begin and end arrow type to oval arrow this is our useful procedure isn't it now let's change the color of these arrows you can change the color under shape outline or here at the color drop down box both are fine you can use any option whichever is comfortable for you now let me add a few lines of text or some words at the top of this shapes too don't customize each of these texts right after adding them because you may need to customize each of these texts every time you add them for example if you want to add the monster font style to this one then you need to do that once then twice thrice then four times five times and sixth time instead just add the font or the text you want to add and then select all at last like i do here see select them all and go to home tab select monstrate font and add some loose spacing if you want you can increase the font size too this is easy right so we have successfully completed designing this slide 4 in the next lecture let's start animating it 
In this lecture, we are going to do a simple and stunning animation to this slide number 4. Let's start. Go to Animations tab and Expand Animations pane. We have already got the animation for heading, subtitle and this mini line. Now let's add animation for this shape. Add fly in entrance effect and change the effect options direction to from top. Also change the effect options and add complete smooth end. Now select this, double click animation painter and start clicking all these shapes. That's it, we have completed animating all these shapes. Now let's group the dotted line and the text box. Actually, we should have done it in the previous lecture, but still, it's not too late. If you haven't grouped it, and if you simply add animation, you just need to do everything twice. That is, you need to add animation for the line and then the text box. At the end of the day, both are same, but still grouping is much an organized way. So let's select this and add wipe animation then change the direction to from left that's it now select it double click on animation painter and copy this animation to all the other text group items i just wish to change the direction for this last one that is the six to from top that will look better okay by seeing the group names at first, anyone may get a bit of confusion, but it's easily identifiable because all these shapes are in 31 to 35, oh, sorry, 36, and these groups are from 65 to 70. So that's not a tough task to find out. We can easily pair them up. Before reordering, we just need to select all these animation effects and change the trigger option to start after previous. Now reorder them. You can drag and drop or select and press this up arrow. Both are fine. That's it. Now let's have a final preview. Okay, somehow the last one has got a bit more delay. So to change it, just select start with previous and then select start after previous again. This will do the job. Let's preview this last one alone. See, we have corrected the issue. With this, we have completed designing and animating four awesome slides. In the next lecture, let's design and animate this title slide. It's too simple to design and animate, that's why I kept it for the end. In this lecture, we are going to design and animate this simple and easy title slide. Before designing, let's have a mini preview. Have you heard a music? Yeah, it's from this PowerPoint presentation and I will show you how to add the two. Also, this music will play till the end of all the slides. I will also show you how you can do that too. Okay, now just create a new slide and delete all the components or the objects and drag it to the top so that it comes as the title slide. Now as usual, go to design and format background and choose the gradient fill. Along with that, we need to insert an image, a transparent image. So choose a rectangle and fill the slide with this rectangle. Now remove the shape outline and change the fill color to picture or texture. You can use this picture or any other picture if you want. The drill is just go to online, search for any keyword on Bing image search and choose the image. Let me search for nature and choose this image. 
Now you just need to increase the transparency to around 90 to 95 percent. Why 90? Because only then you can see the background. Let me show you. If you click design and go to format background and if you choose solid fill with any other colors then it looks like you have applied some kind of filter. Even if you apply a pattern or some other design then both the image in the rectangle and the background of the slide merge with each other. But I wish to choose the same gradient fill. So let me continue. Now let me copy this title, subtitle and this line pressing Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. I am just going to place it in the middle. So I am going to take the subtitle and place it beneath here. Finally, let me increase the font size a bit so that it appears like a title slide. Now select all of them and select align objects center before that choose align to slide. That's it. You have completed designing and animating this title slide. How animating? Because we have just copied this title and subtitle from our slides and they have got animated already. That's why. If you don't believe me, let's see a preview. Here it goes. Also, let's add a transition to the first slide. If you want to add the transition to the first slide, then you need to apply it to the second slide. I will show you how. Let me choose fly through. See? If you apply to the third or fourth or fifth, you cannot see the transition because the background of second, third and fourth are all the same. So whatever transition you apply, you cannot see it. So you can apply the transition effect only to the second slide to see after the first slide. There is a last thing which I missed and it's adding audio. Go to insert and Select this drop down list and choose audio on my PC. Now let me choose an audio file and click insert. We have got the audio here, audio icon. Move it and place somewhere else at the bottom and choose play in background. That's it. That's what you need to do. Everything is automatic from here. Shall we have a final look along with the music in a full slide show? Let's go.